Well, hello, Aries, beautiful rising good afternoon and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in, and this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter signs. So, welcome or welcome back, Aries, to another of your readings. I hope you are all doing so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So, use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right, so I have turned over all of the decks here to see what is on the bottom. The bottom of the deck represents what is coming in for you, what is ahead that is hidden that you do not see at this time. So for the tarot deck, we have the seven of wands. So I like to think of this um, future energy, well, this energy as after the future energy in the deck. So when we do the reading, this is what is after the future energy. So you have the seven of wands with resilience. So, yeah, we're just going to take that in for a little bit and move forward. So, <clears throat> resilience. You also have number eight with the path. So, number eight, waxing crescent six, the path. And you see this lady and she is standing there looking at this path. So, all right. We are going to keep that in mind as well. And last but not least, for your spirit animal, you have number 38, the lizard spirit. Dream the world into being. 38 adds up to 11. And for me, 11s are about like new ideas, like a new consciousness, a new level of thinking, seeing, you know, seeing things, observing things. Um, absorbing things, you know, that you are watching um, or experiencing as well. Hold on. Let me, I have to plug in my tablet really quick because, okay, there we go. All right. All right. So we have, yeah, the lizard spirit would dream the world into being. So yeah, as I was saying, the... 11 new consciousness new ideas um you know new way of seeing the world so dream the world into being so <clears throat> what i feel what you do not see coming is that there's a new world that is coming in for you there's a new path that is opening up and this new path is because you have been working so hard towards it you have been resilient you have kept moving forward you have kept you know you it's like maybe you just kept believing in yourself you kept knowing that it was going to be you you knew that if you you know did things the right way that you were going like it was going to pay off if that is you then this is absolutely like the time that it is paying off because you have been dreaming your world into being and so I feel that it will be coming into fruition you will see the path open up in front of you very clearly and you will have the choice to take it or not it is completely up to you just the way that we saw the you know like the girl in the card that was standing at the bottom of the ladder looking at the new path all you would have to do is climb up the ladder if you choose to step through that window of a new version of yourself of a whole new world so what version of yourself is going to step through that window if you choose so all right Aries your spirit animal for this week, nice, is card number 44, Panther Spirit, with Reclaim Your Power. Reclaim Your Power, Aries. 44, fours are 
like I feel like fours are the angel numbers and so 44 I'm feeling is like you are super protected you are protected in your journey to reclaim your power so however this means or feels to you you will know but reclaim your power so let's see how that applies to the whole reading all right in your recent past you have card number nine which is the first quarter moon with assessing so the first quarter moon is when the moon is uh, yeah like half like that so i feel that in your recent past you were looking forward towards your you know your future energies to see what where you want to go what you want to do like what is possible for you you were looking you know to see what it was that you wanted to create almost like you were trying to get a sneak peek of like what would I create if I were to raise up and be this highest version of myself so you see she's at the top of a hot air balloon that has risen up above all of the earthly matters and has you know fully ascended up to a new vibration where she can look forward to creating new things ahead of her well her or him and uh, yeah like assess a whole new version or a whole new idea for yourself so I feel that this is something that you were experiencing in your recent past your tarot card is the eight of pentacles with perfection so I feel that the you know this is something that you were really wanting to perfect you were wanting to look forward to you were assessing you know your future energies and seeing what it was that you needed to perfect perfect within yourself or either even within a business if you are in business for yourself or, or even starting a business if you wanted to start if you're wanting to start a business for yourself so it is absolutely you know it's different for everyone so Yes, and you have the Eight of Pentacles, and Eights are also two fours as well, so that four four is an eight, and eight is the vibration of the year 2024, so yes, all right, so in your present energy, you have card number 12, the Waxing Gibbous Three with Boundaries, so I feel that right now, Aries, you are learning to set boundaries. You are learning to put up the boundaries that are blocking you from things that you do not want to come in. So maybe this is you didn't have boundaries up before and now you're learning how to set boundaries for yourself and what boundaries you need to set. So I'm looking like I'm seeing like the matching red here and I'm feeling that this is more like root chakra energy. So it's like you are setting down new roots for yourself, new and these new roots have boundaries. These you know, this new security has boundaries. This new stable version of yourself has boundaries and not just anybody or anything can get through them. And so I feel that right now, this is what you are working on or starting to see and uh, yeah, starting to bring into your life at this present time. And that's beautiful. And yes, you have the Ten of Wands for your tarot card with burdens. So these boundaries are helping you to drop your burdens. Set your boundaries, drop some burdens. Like that's how I'm feeling this particular energy is that as you start to set more and more boundaries, you will start to see that more and more of your burdens are dropping away because sometimes you needed to stand up for yourself is what I'm feeling that you, you know, needed to learn how to possibly say no sometimes to others. And because you weren't, you were taking on more than you needed to. And uh, yeah, and so these boundaries are helping you to drop some of these burdens because you are no longer looking to yourself to be the only one doing something or the only one trying for something so yeah that's beautiful drop those burdens Aries yeah 
absolutely. All right. Moving forward into your future energy, you have card number 20 with beauty. And so what I'm feeling is that you are seeing more of the beauty in life, but I also feel that you are seeing more of the beauty within yourself. You are seeing yourself as the person that you wish somebody would look at you as being if that makes sense so it's like you are looking in the mirror and you are seeing yourself as the most beautiful person that you could ever imagine and when you are cultivating that beauty from the inside it starts to radiate into the world around you and so you know, if it starts with you starting to see more of the beauty out in nature, then you will start to see how you are nature and nature is us, you know. So, yeah, I love it. So, yeah, it's like you are tuning into a higher frequency. So, nice. And your tarot card is the King of Cups with support. So I love it because I feel like this is like a feminine energy and this is like the masculine energy that is coming back through or coming through. And this is support. So you have support in this new aspect of life that you are seeing. You are, it's almost like both aspects of yourself the masculine and feminine version of yourself are coming together so that you can reclaim your power because when we are balanced in both of our energies then we are more stable within ourselves and so like this is this root chakra energy that i'm feeling right now in your present energy or in your present so moving forward you will be moving forward into a more balanced energy within yourself and you will learn to be or here's what I'm feeling you will learn to be your own biggest support and so therefore you will attract to yourself people who are also going to support you or willing to support you and because they are also balanced in their masculine and feminine energies they are also in their power energy so Wow, that's beautiful, Aries. Amazing. Ah, uh, so yeah, Aries, this has been another of your readings. I hope you find I hope you found something that resonates with you. And if you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up because it definitely helps the video and the channel out. Um, whether or not you are subscribed to the channel, it's completely or yeah, you decide to subscribe, it's completely up to you. There's no pressure here. Um, also, if you are subscribed to the channel, I want to say thank you so very much for allowing me to be part of your journey. All right. Ah, Aries, I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you in your next one.